Philadelphia police are ramping up the manhunt for two suspects wanted in connection with a deadly shooting at a SEPTA bus stop. They released new surveillance images showing the shooters wearing distinctive clothing. The gunfire killed a student at Imhotep Charter School. Action News reporter Catherine Scott heard from Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel and joins us live from police headquarters with the latest. Catherine. Matt, authorities are hoping that by releasing these surveillance images, it'll help track down these two suspects. And one of the suspects is wearing a distinctive sweatshirt. You'll see it in those images in just a moment. And authorities here at the Homicide Division hope that helps find the identities of the shooters, both of whom are wearing masks and are considered armed and dangerous. Take a good look at these surveillance images. Philadelphia police say these two people are wanted in the quintuple shooting in Ogons on March 4th. They claim the life of 17 year old Damon Taylor as he waited at a SEPTA bus stop near his school, Imhotep Charter. Two other students waiting for the bus were injured in a hail of gunfire, as were two women who were riding the nearby SEPTA bus. In these images, you could see one of the gunmen is wearing a black hooded sweatshirt with the word emotional written on the front. And don't get emotional, it's only broken promises on the back. Investigators are also still working to determine if this case is linked to another shooting two days later at a different SEPTA bus stop when eight Northeast High School students were shot in Burholm. The police Commissioner said the number of young people involved in these cases is alarming. Coming from my previous job in school safety, watching a number of kids that were shot around the school, never thought it would continue. I hope we had gotten to a place where we were able to, to, to stop that from happening. We're not going to stop in our work. We're going to continue to work hard to, to bring people to justice who engage in this type of behavior in our community. There's a $20,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. We're live at police headquarters, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. Catherine, thank you for that.